Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Homesick episode 43, 44, and 45. Let's get started. They're just driving to there. The random people's camp. Look at all. Does your cat know it's rude to stare at strangers for longer than five seconds? He's just a cat. So what? <sighs> You're his owner. You have the responsibility to teach its proper manners. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Jokes are for immature people. Right. Yeah. Relax, he doesn't bite unless you give him a reason to. Don't blame him, he's just looking out for the group. It's been a long week for all of us. Huh. Uh. His eyes, they were terrifying. Uh. Rain, are you okay? I'm okay. Why? You look pale. <laughs> really? It's probably nothing. Uh, oh, 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 this sucks. I didn't know you were carsick. Believe me, I didn't either. I'll be fine though. Thanks, Tommy. Hmm. I'm glad you're okay. Hmm? What was that? No, nothing. Get some rest. Uh, cute. <laughs> uh, Alright, you can drop us off here. Huh? Is this it? Yup. Thanks for y'all's generosity. It was nice meeting you four. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you both too. Stay safe out there. Lyle. Val. Jesus took you guys long enough. Where have you guys been? Ren, what are y'all doing out there here? I heard noise while I was scouting the area. Figured it was you two, so I came to check. The kids are worried sick, you know. <laughs> Sorry about that. We crashed our bike. Lyo, why'd you let this happen? She got carried away. It was out of my control. But they were kind enough to drive us home. Lucky us, huh? Huh? <gasps> oh. Where are you guys headed? Um, we haven't really thought about it. Well... We got spare rooms available. Uh, you're welcome to stay the night. Uh, what's the catch? We've got some real troublesome kids. Just be nice to them. Uh, bam! Come stay the night. Plus, we're gonna have dinner soon. You should join us. Mm -hmm. uh, Val, what did I say about being pushy? No pressure, though. Uh, <clears throat> Homesick. Will they take it? I think... I think they will, because they're probably like, hungry, too. Uh, is this really necessary? How much further are we? <laughs> he made all of them put their hands up. Close. Actually, we're here. Watch your steps. Huh? Huh? Mama? Phoebe! Oh! Huh? Ch what? What just happened? <laughs> what are they doing? These kids are going to be the death of me. Zaya! Zaya, wait! Boom! Where the heck were you two? Put the broom down and we'll explain. Y yeah, there's no need to get violent. 
And you. I can't believe you left without a word. Calm down, we're here now, aren't we? Excuse me, can you maybe repeat that? Ow, ow, ow. I mean, I'm sorry, it won't hap uh, ever happen again, I promise. Poor Ren. This is embarrassing. Zaya! What? We got company. Oh. Oh. <sighs> my ear. Do you want to see my car collection? Oh. Come, I'll show you. Hmm? Let's all get in first, then I'll explain everything in details. How is he? He'll be fine, but it may take some time before he can fully walk again. Yeah. What about you? Are you okay? Anyone who says they're okay are lying to themselves. All we can really do is keep moving forward, even if we don't have the strength to. Or else, what's the point? Alright, you guys are allowed to stay the night. Just one night! You did help those two idiots out, Zaya. So I really got nothing against all of you. But you, mu you best believe I'll be watching you all like a hawk. So don't go messing... So don't go messing around to understand. We understand. Thank you. Okay, y'all ready to see our your rooms? Ah, uh, yes, please. Uh, uh, I got you. Uh, they're not so bad, are they? You never know. That's true. Inviting some strangers into your area that's been safe and quarantine kind of deal, I wouldn't feel so open about it either. That's for me. This is my Ferrari. Do you like it? Ferrari? Ferrari. That's not a Ferrari. We call that a fairy. Fairy? What's that? It's like a car, but you drive it on water. Whoa. What is it like to be on one? I don't have strong opinions about fairies, but my sister hated it. Why? Well... She gets seasick, that's why. Ew, sounds like a bad disease. Diseases are bad regardless of what it is, kid. Do you have a car? Oh. Uh -uh. There's more kids. Homesick. Or start dinner at six. Come join us then, okay? Okay. Alright, see ya later. <laughs> She's a breath of fresh air. How's your neck? Don't worry, it doesn't hurt so much anymore. Are you sure? I can help fix it for you. I'll be fine. You can trust me. Okay, but I'll be here if you need any assistance. Thanks, Tommy. Do you really not remember anything? Yeah, weird, isn't it? I'm still trying to figure out whatever may have caused it, but I don't know. I'm not desperate enough to really find out my past, you know? I'm curious, of course, but with everything that's happening right now, I'd rather keep a clear head than be overwhelmed with old memories that may hold me back. But what if someone who knew you before your amnesia comes up to you one day, claiming to be your family or friend? Would you still want to know? Uh, of course. And if they hid it from you, I don't see why they do that. Ray, your friend's Kenny wants to speak with you. Kenny? 
What's wrong? Does he need medical attention? No, he just wants a word with Rain. Uh, uh We'll talk later. Uh, okay. Uh, do you want to help out in the kitchen? Oh. He knows, doesn't he? What do I do? Hey, you okay? If he wanted to rat you out, he would have done so earlier. Talk to him. What if things go south? What if he has an ulterior motive? His intentions were never bad to begin with. At the end of the day, he tries to do what's right and protect the ones he loves. Pretty bad at it, but he tries. It'll be fine to go talk to him. How long are you planning to stand there? Come on in. Thank you. Thanks for everything you've done for me. I would have been a dead man long ago if it weren't for you. I just want to properly apologize for putting y'all through shit. I don't expect you to forgive me. But from the bottom of my heart, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry about Navin and everything that went down at the house. You've done questionable things, but I don't have anything against you. So, I forgive you. I don't deserve forgiveness. All the things I've done either hurt or killed the ones around me. And I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. Even so, you can't blame yourself for all the bad things that happened. If anything, you were a victim too. And I hope one day you'll find it in your heart to forgive yourself. But Kenny... This isn't the main reason you called me in, right? How long have you kept your secret from Sammy? Since we were at the house. But there's something else you need to know first, before you decide what you want to do about it. Huh? You're an amnesiac? And you have no recollection of what happened that made you yell like this? Yeah. I met this kid who was suffering similar conditions, but it's different. How do I put it? The Merc that took over him was more in control and had this insatiable hunger for human meat. Whereas the one that's with me doesn't need that. Plus, my nails are completely normal. Okay, so you're trying to say you're not infected? No. But what if we're not all dangerous? I mean, so far all I know is that I can sense threats and heal minor wounds. Look, I don't know how Merc possession works, but Rain, you can't be certain you're not going to hurt us when that thing that's infected you decides to get violent. What will happen then? I won't let that happen. No one knows what your Merc is capable of doing. And neither do you. Can you really trust it? Homesick. All right, that is a wrap, you guys. Honestly, Kenny brought up some very valid points that, yes, Rain is, you know, is a merc, is infected by a merc, and we don't really know his capabilities if he's going to get extremely violent and decides to kill people and eat the human meat and stuff like that but like seriously it's a good he brought up some good points like she barely honestly knows that she was infected this entire time so honestly to me as a reader i felt like yes we can trust her and her merc but we never know you know so all right guys if you guys enjoy my webtoon reading slash reaction feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys next time bye